Hey guys, this is Photo of Apple Jolly Ranchers and Jolly Rancher Family bringing you a quick tutorial on costumes. Alright, so for purposes of this video, I'm going to refer to the original hero as the classic and the costume and the clip costume version as the costume. Alright, so let's get going. So in the, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to equip your hero, your responsibilities towards the hero, like get how to get the bonuses you get, uh, how to get the bonuses you receive from the hero, and finally, we're going to talk about the actual bonuses and reasons that you might want to raise a costume. So let's get started real quick, and oh, I don't have to go far. Cool. So how to equip a hero. How to equip a uh, costume. So we're going to start off with regard. So with regard, you have... This is the original. This is the original. The classic. If I want to switch to a costume, I go to the bottom of the screen. There is a carrot pointing to the right. I press on that. It presents the costume. And if I wanted to equip it, I hit equip. It asks me to equip it. I say yeah. And it's good. The, uh, it goes gold, it tells you it's equipped. If I want to switch back, carrot to the left, equip, same process, it lets me know that it's equipped. And then you can come in and out of the screen, and it'll always be there until you change it over. Uh, side note, if, you use a, if you're if you using custom heroes in uh, tournaments, be and uh, if you're planning on using them in other events, like, uh, say, Alliance Wars or things like that, be careful about that because whichever version of the hero that you use, you're stuck with that for the tournament. It won't allow you to switch over. Okay, so uh, your responsibilities towards the hero. Like, uh, so you, get the, you got the hero, you learn how to equip it. When you flip over, like a question I ask all the time is, do I have to start over? And the answer to that is no. Your uh, your classic hero will always have the XP that it has. Uh, but you do have to raise the costume in a similar manner as your uh, as your classic hero. So with Melendor, the classic hero was done. Right? Switching over to the costume hero. The costume hero is at four of seven. Okay, so what this means is I still have to keep raising the costume hero. Uh, and the thing about the costume hero is when you use a costume hero, you don't get the stats of the original. So, like, if your costume is 1-1 and your classic hero is 470, if you're using a costume, you're using a 1-1 hero, just so you understand that. So, when you're raising the costume hero, you're raising the costume hero, uh... Just so you know, uh, it has its own XP and its own it has its own XP and it has its own special abilities, special ability count. Uh, be careful about that because when you're raising your XP, like you get a lot more XP per hero for the costume, so you shoot through it a lot faster. And so there's a shot that you won't have your special abilities maxed. Now, why you would go through all this? Well. Every costume that you raise, as you raise it, it gives you bonuses to the base stats of your hero. So you get a bonus to attack stat, to defense stat, to health or mana, to health and mana speed. And this counts towards both your original, your uh, classic hero, and the costume hero. As well as you get a new ability with the costume or changing ability with the costume. And so depending on your situation, you might prefer to use one costume over the other. Uh, for example, for Titans, I prefer Classic to Birdis. It's a hard hitter. Whereas for Raids, I like to use the costume and spread the, uh, and spread the defensive down. So... I hope that helped you guys out. Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.